Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox the X96 Plus. The S905W chipset comes with 1 gig of RAM and 8 gig internal storage. You can see that the box is really nicely designed going around, doesn't have much markings in the back. But once we open the, the box itself, you can see the unit is sitting on the top and then it comes with the power adapter, which is 5 volt 2 amps. It's created for North America and also comes with an HDMI cable, which is 2.0 and it is about a meter. Also, it comes with a little user manual that just only talks about the connections and that's about it. In the back, it just have some precaution how to use it. It also comes with a remote control which is an IR. It is multifunction so you can also you can turn on and off your TV with it. I would really suggest since this is an Android box and we are on OS 7 that you use an air mouse remote. If you haven't subscribed to our channel it is time click the subscribe button this way we can grow with you guys. Also if you haven't liked the video itself click the like button this way you're going to motivate us to make these type of videos more for you. We're going to put that aside. You can see that the unit is really nicely designed. It has a huge marking on the top, says 4K. And then in the front, you just have a little display. When you turn it on, it shows the time. Going on the right hand side, it has nothing. But going to the back part of it is where you're going to see the power connection, which is 5 volt 2 amps. And then you have the optical audio connection, so you can connect it to your stereo system. And then right beside that, you have the HDMI connection, which is 2.0. And then you have the Ethernet connection, which is 10100. And then you have a little AV connection, so you can connect it to older type of TV. The adapter is not part of the box. Going on the other side of it, you have two USB 2.0 ports, and then you have the TF card reader, which can read up to 128 gigabyte. That means is you can expand your internal storage using this little connection. Going to the bottom is we're going to see a lot of ventilations. It has four little lakes which is made out of plastic so we can stand up for breathing. Make sure you put it on a flat surface. All right, so enough said about it. Let's get it connected. So first, make sure you connect your HDMI and then connect your power adapter. So as soon as it boots, it will give you a nice animation and then it just goes in. As soon as you turn it on, you can see right on the top you have the name and then on the right hand side you have a little search. This part will have a little weather that is not loaded yet, but it shows that if you connect it via Wi-Fi or Ethernet, at the meantime we did select it Ethernet and then you have the time which is not correct since we didn't set it up. But you have a huge icon for the Google Play Store. You have browser, video, all the apps are inside of this. And then you have settings, you have KD player, which is forked version of Kodi. And then also you have the music, which is just a folder so you can add other apps so that we can play. And then you have the clear memory. So you can click on it and you can see right now, it will clean all the apps that are running in the background. Now going underneath, these are all shortcuts that we loaded and we should start. So you do have a favorite button right here so you can click on it and this way whatever they have selected for us will load there for you. But let's go through and we will go through the benchmarking first. So from the gecko we will go under the Antutu benchmark which we already run it and this is the marks that we got which is 21876. Again it's a good number for S905W chipset that has one gigabyte of RAM so this is a really good ranking for it. You can see that the battery temperature is properly too. Again this doesn't have a battery but the CPU load is there too and it's not a lot. Again it is just running one gigabyte of internal RAM. All right, so we will get back out of this. So this is a good number. We will go under the Geekbench. Now this is another really good app to run. So this way will show the stability of if it's gonna run under just a single CPU or dual or multi they call it. So we can see right now that it is called AM Logic 4K. It is running 7.1.2. It is a ARM AM Logic chipset on this. So we have already run our benchmarks. We will go under history and you can see it right now under the single core we got 502 and under multi core we only got 1383. Remember this box is really good if you just want to get it for your IPTV and you just want to Kodi on it or you want to go through something like Terrarium perfectly running and it is really good and it's very quiet. One thing I want to let you know is a lot of people just jump into it. It's 4K. 
I have to let you know, you want to get a really good one out of it. This is running 4K and 30 hertz. There are boxes that are running 4K and 60 hertz. So they have a different chipset on it. Again, if you do need help, please drop them at the bottom of this video. We love to help you out. But you can see right now, right here, that it says memory is only 845 out of 1 gigabyte that it come with it and on top of that you can see the names is s905w you can go more underneath and it will show you a lot more how it's set up what's the frequency range and you can learn a lot about it and there are different things that they have run tests through so that way you know that exactly what's happening with single core or multi in order for this to run really smoothly for you but again they have done it really good tweak with this so that way you can not have any issues now going under something like the root checker this is a really good app too to run so this way you can see if your box is rooted or not rooted and then we will select so right now it's just rooted there you go so it says congratulations you do have a full root access which is perfect so we will get out of this too so that way you can do a lot more with, with this box now here's one more thing before we go to the speed test we will go under drm check this is mandatory a lot of you guys are jumping to the gun saying that you can get something like youtube or netflix and 4k it's not possible with this box first it's running one gig and second it does not have any of the dhcp level or security level properly set up on this so the google white vine on this is not right so unfortunately your netflix only standard definition and your youtube which we're going to go to it is only running maximum 1080p so we will get out of this too and then let's go through and play with certain things so first let's go to our speed test and see how good this box is with the speed so we have already done it we're going to go under result so the first part underneath is done by the LAN connection remember LAN connection on this is 10 100 so it is not going to go over a 100 megabit you can see it gets really good marks when we have the download part of it which is 83.4 and for the second time we ran we got 94.3 but when we want to upload our upload speed is 20 megabit max so you can see that right now we 11 for the first time and 19.9 .9 for the second time which is perfect so the land part they have done their job now going under wi-fi it is a single band wi-fi which is 2.4 gigahertz so this is what we got we got 32 and then for the upload we got 23 so it's a little bit higher speed than what we have which again sometimes it can happen depends on the isp itself but our download again you can see that it we only got 31.1 and then when we want to upload we got 19.6 so it's right here so again their network on this box is excellent i know that this is 32 again remember it's wi-fi how many devices are connected and it how much a box it down for you that also have some interference that comes to it doesn't matter if it's old walls doesn't matter if it's steel something that can bring it down and how far you are from your wi-fi these things all matter wire wire to it so that means there's no disconnections in the middle that's why you get better result but wi-fi wise you can see it right now so we will get out of that too the next thing we will go through is going to be your youtube and there you go as soon as you go to it you should already know that you're not going to get a really high definition so we will just search for something like 4k video so we will select it and there you go so let's just play this one so again, it takes a couple of seconds for it to load. And then once it's loaded, you can go under quality. And this is where you're going to get the maximum resolution. You can see that this does not go over 720p. Now it can be that just this video is 720p maybe. But again, let's just wait a few seconds. So this way it can grab more files. So this way we can see what is the maximum quality. So again, we will go to the quality itself. And let's see, there you go, 720p. So let's go on the bottom and there are more videos so this one again it says 4k so let's select this one which says flying over norway and once it comes up there you go you can see that's nice and beautiful there's no stop to it but when we go into quality itself and we will click on it maximum is 720p so we said earlier it goes maximum 1080p and it does not it stuck to 720p resolution again it looks beautiful and the naked eye you don't see much of a difference between 720p to 1080p so this is awesome 
All right, so we will get out of that too. So the next thing we will test is going to be the Kodi itself. So remember that they have forked this, so they have changed certain things, so that way it would work with this box perfectly. And yes, it is fully loaded with add-ons. Again, these are really old add-ons. None of them will be working for you, so I have to say that you can wipe it and you can take you can reload it with your own stuff that you have. Except that here is our own network, which is set up under 10100. So it's not a gigabit set up on this. So we will try to go through and try to play our 4K video first to see if they have any kind of disconnections to it while we're talking. And let's see what will come up. You can see that there is a little bit of a stoppage right now. And again, that can happen because it's one gig. And you can see right now that it's paused. So I'll play it. But you will see the buffering underneath of it that it is done properly. So we will get out of this and let's go into our 1080p video, which is this one. Again, these are our own stock videos. I know there's tons of them out there. But you can see that there's no stoppage right now while we try to load it. And even right now, there is not on any kind of headache going through it. Remember that if you want to get in these boxes just to stream from the internet, this is perfect. But if you have a 4K video on your USB, make sure that this box is USB 2.0. So there's not going to be much of bog down right now. But in the future, it will be because technology moves very fast. Again, this box is beautiful. It runs everything perfectly for us till now. I don't have any issues with it. And we will just get out of this too. Remember that Netflix, I do not have to go into it because it is just a standard definition. But this box is running perfectly. Links will be available where you can order these from at the bottom of this video. Except that keep your eye on our channel because we will have some giveaways coming up very shortly. Except that and thank you.